All right, there's a few more things we really want to make sure we highlight with this tool that sets it apart from the rest. Really good, important feature that we have is all of our fold cylinders on these discs. We use four fold cylinders, two for each wing. That really helps rigid this tool up so you don't get any flex or any frame failures. We also have scrapers that are spring-loaded and adjustable that we'll talk on, as well as some different rear attachments. But one thing I want to show you guys now is how our gang bar works. We have a completely sealed, um, it's, it's maintenance-free bearing that we work with. It's made uh, specifically for Great Plains from beer, by Pure Mar Manufacturing Company. Um, completely sealed bearing. And one of the really unique features here is that it's a, it's a 360 degree bearing. So it can pivot up, down, not only forward and back, but it can actually swivel like a ball bearing. A lot of the other competition out there just has a, a rotating bearing that really doesn't have that 360 um, uh, degrees of, of movement. Uh, so as you do get into rough ground and, and these bars will flex a little bit, it really helps take the stress off of the, the bearings themselves, which historically would be one of the earlier places we see some failures. Um, below these caps here, we have cast iron caps. You take these out and that's where you get to the, the bar nut so you can disassemble these gangs and uh, replace blades when the time comes. Um, but yeah, a really good heavy duty unit. You can see how big our cast spools are. They're cupped a little bit. That helps with residue flow um, versus just a, a straight smooth um, space, spacer there. Um, so everything's cast steel. Everything is really heavy built. Um, and now what we're going to do is take a look at some of the spring loaded scrapers. All right. This is a, a really unique scraper designed to Great Plains. Um, we've got quite a bit of adjustment here. Um, you'll see for each scraper we've got two bolts. Um, one of them's a pivot bolt and the other one's a lock bolt. And what this allows us to do is adjust this scraper in and out and then we can lock it. So in some conditions we can actually take these scrapers all the way out and just let the blade uh, kind of to spin free. We can loosen the bolt up and then bring the scraper up right up against the blade to keep these things cleaned out and lock it there in place. Or what's also really common and unique to Great Plains is you'll see that we have this spring here that ties the two scrapers together. We can actually loosen the lock bolt and keep the pivot bolt kind of snug. But what that does is actually spring loads these scrapers up against the blades. That way they, as the blade wears, as you get into different conditions, it keeps things nice and, and clean. So really great feature that we have on these tools. Super easy to adjust. Just one bolt, you loosen and tighten to set that scraper or just leave them on the, the spring setting and, and let those scrapers do their thing. All right, one of the last things that we want to take a look at with this heavy duty disc is the last pass in that this tool makes is the finishing attachments. We have four different options. Um, the first being the most basic is just a mounting bar uh, or a full type hitch. So, so you can use any type of finishing attachment of your choice or you can do an integrated finishing attachment. What you see here is a, a three bar heavy duty spike. Uh, we also have a, a heavy duty coil tine attachment. Um, and then for the really nice finished discs, when you're not going as deep, but you're really wanting to make sure you have a smooth, consistent finish, we also have a seed bed conditioner, a rolling basket that can mount here as well. So three really good options if you want to have a finishing attachment right, mounted right on the tool, or if you just want to have a rear mounting bar and a rear hitch to pull a, a seed bed conditioner or whatnot, you can pull that right behind this tool as well. Empire Tractor